Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about running shoes and how you can actually use Garmin Connect to actually log the mileage of your running shoes, which is really, really important. So your shoes are good to run in between three and 500 miles, depending on how you use them and where you use them. You've really got to use your common sense in with that as well, and also factor in that we are different sizes, so they're going to take different pounding for, for different people as well. So the great thing on Garmin Connect is it'll look at all your runs and it'll actually see how many runs you've done in those shoes. The great thing about it is, say for instance, you bought your shoes last August, we're gonna be able to go into Garmin Connect in a few minutes and actually type in your new shoes that you purchased in August. And it's gonna tell you how many miles you've already run in them. One of the great things about this as well is you can actually see how many miles you've run in them and then you can turn around to your partner and say, do you know what, I need some new shoes and it really helps justify it because it's fact. Let's have a little look how we do that. Hey guys, I'm Shane Bow and welcome back. Or if you're new here, then please press subscribe. Uh, you should find this video really valuable and I've got some great videos in my library for you to look at on running tech and also some running as well. So we're looking at running trainers today, running shoes, running sneakers, and how you can use Garmin Connect to really monitor those miles. And it's really, really important because if you're gonna be running in some old trainers, it basically means that your recovery time's not gonna be as good. And on top of that, you're definitely gonna be more prone to injury as well. So if you're buying some trainers and you are putting them into retirement, doesn't mean you have to uh, throw them away. So these are the ones I run in in the London Marathon uh, last year. And I just really like the design on these. I don't go running in them now, but I do wear them with a pair of jeans as well. And you can see from the uh, undersole just here, uh, it's really great boost material on these, but you can really, really see that um, the sole's just there. There's hardly any tread on there. So I definitely wouldn't want to go running on those. My current um, shoes are these just here, these Adidas Ultra Boost. I'm really, really liking these. You'll see these in a minute on my Garmin Connect uh, account. Um, these have got about another 100 miles in and then I'm gonna have to get some uh, new ones, unfortunately. Uh, but they're, um, they've been really, really great trainers. Um, and I've got to say, um, the um, first ones I showed you just there, I picked up in a Black Friday deal uh, the year before. And uh, the Adidas I just showed you there as well, I bought those from a outlet, which is close to me. It's like a discount outlet. So I'm always on the lookout for great prices. These I literally got last week and I'm loving these. Uh, these are Solomon um, trail shoes. And I literally got these half price on Amazon. So really look out for the deals, guys. I was really impressed with these. It's pretty much the exact pair I wanted. So you can see these are trail shoes and they've got some really great grip underneath. One mistake some people make when they're looking at running trails is they use older, older like road shoes. Now the main problem with that is I can see why people do it because you're thinking they're gonna get muddy, they're gonna get wet, they're gonna get ruined, but you've just got no grip on the bottom of them. The grip is already gone. So when you're running the trails to stay really safe so you don't slip or anything, you need the grip. Also, you don't wanna be using um, trail shoes on the road either because that, that asphalt, that tarmac, that's gonna run these grips down really, really quickly. So I think what we need to do, I only got these last week. I had a little trail run with some friends on Sunday. Let's go into Garmin Connect and add these sneakers on. So from the Garmin Connect app, swipe over from the left, and then in the middle here, you've got a picture of a blue shoe and it says gear. Click on that. And then if you're revisiting it, you'll have a list of your shoes just here. So you can see those um, Adidas Ultra Boost I just showed you there, on 299 miles on those. If we click on the plus sign on the top left, and then you've got gear type, it already says shoes, so leave that. Enter a nickname if you want. Uh, you've got brand and model just here. So I'm gonna type in Sal O Man GTX just there. And then the first use on these was on the 4th of November. And then we're just gonna click on save there. And now my new trail shoes are on there and ready to go. One of the great things as well is you can have two pairs of shoes at the same time. So I'm gonna be currently doing some trail running with my friends where I'm gonna be using my Solomon shoes. 
I'm going to be doing a load of road running as well, where I'm going to be using my Adidas ones as well. So I'm going to show you how to go back into the app after and tell Garmin Connect which shoes you've been out running in, which is really, really great and important if you're running with more than one pair. So swipe over from the left, and then where you've got activities on the top, press that, and then click on running, and then you'll have a list then of all your runs. So we obviously want to attach these new shoes to my middle run here at 2.89 miles. So we're going to click that run just there. And then where we've got the three dots on the top, we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go add or remove gear. And then we're going to go to Solomon GTX, put a tick next to that now. And now it's added those on to my actual gear list. If we go back in here, look now. You can see Solomon GTX in the middle, 2.89 miles. So I can now alternate between different pairs of shoes at any time. So there are more videos for you to choose from in just a second. And please press subscribe, guys. I appreciate it so much. You're helping my channel grow just there as well. Plenty of other videos on the channel to have a little look at. I just want to say thank you loads and loads for everyone who's commented again recently. I appreciate those comments so much. Without those comments, and those, especially those early comments, those really kind comments, I wouldn't have stayed at this, but I'm enjoying it so much now. And the channel seems to be going in absolutely the right way. So I'm staying here um, and there's plenty more videos coming. Thanks again, guys.